So you have a choice between either being powerful but emotionless or just still be a human being but without the power. Yes, right. right. And that's an interesting choice that you have to make during the game. Yeah, right, it has um, many consequences. Yeah, um, The main thing we wanted to uh, produce is uh, to uh, uh, give you the freedom. Yeah? Freedom, 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 the choices, what you, uh, um, what um, uh, faction you join, yeah, mm -hmm. because it's a big deal in the game, you join a faction. Yeah? You are, uh, in the first uh, uh, hours, you, you are banned from your uh, own faction, the Alps, who consume these Elex uh, a lot, and then they have no emotions anymore, but strong magicians. And they want to, um, uh, uh, yeah, take over the world itself, so, and to want to get the next uh, step in evolution and so, and they are uh, more the bad guys of the world, yeah? And you were one of them, and now you get the first time in your life you get emotions, yeah? And so you are um, you're facing the three people you once fought, and therefore you, you have to choose which way to go. And we have um, uh, a science fantasy universe and a post-apocalyptic world, yeah? And uh, that means we have uh, um, a medieval faction, we have uh, uh, outlaws, uh, more like uh, Mad Max faction, Mad Max style. And the sci-fi part uh, we call the clerics, and, and so uh, the mixture of all these uh, uh, things uh, is uh, all about. All right, well, that sounds interesting. Carnage, yes. are you taking Elix? I, I'm taking it in. I just keep thinking, I, I, like, <laughs> what would I do if I had a chance to either become like a superhuman or have no emotions? I'd just get rid of those emotions. Yeah, right Because I'm practically away. emotionless anyways. Exactly. So I, right, so I think, I think the world that we live in is pretty much in that direction too. So I'll just become superhuman. Um, what an interesting game. Um, what an interesting fact, uh, concept. Um, is this... Uh, was this a game before that's being picked up and remade? This, this was a game that was being worked on before, right? And then and, and now being uh, re-released almost, right? No, no, no. No, it, no. It, no, no, no. It, it was uh, uh, the idea of the game uh, in our minds, well, 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. But, but it was only an idea, okay. yeah. Uh, we, uh, we are Piranha Bytes and uh, we are uh, um, a small um, company uh, 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 from a, a German region we call Ruhrpott, yeah. Ruhrpott. Ruhrpott, okay. yes. All right. And um, yeah, it's Ruhrgebiet and so we... Um, uh, produce the uh, Gothic series, yes. as you might uh, uh, know, and the Risen series, yeah. And so, uh, always uh, was it fantasy only, yeah? and so we thought about uh, making new setting, new cool stuff, not only to produce only uh, stools and tables uh, of the uh, ancient ones and, and medieval <laughs> stuff and stuff like, like that, uh, only barrels, and so we couldn't see it anymore. And so we like the fantasy. Right. We, we are uh, always, um, uh, uh, um, e even in this game, we have fantasy parts, yeah. But, but it was a, a great a push in, in, uh, in the company when we said, okay, uh, now we can uh, do anything uh, um, we want, yeah? Uh, 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 broken cars and, and, and uh, stuff like uh, uh, pump guns and uh, chain uh, swords and stuff like that. And, and then we, we had uh, uh, really s uh, fun to make this kind so of game. So you're, you're just keep on doing the same thing and you're like, what else can we do? We're tired of making just gothic towers and all this darkness around us all the time. Yeah. I love it, man. <laughs> This time it's just this happy post-apocalyptic work. Happy post-apocalyptic. You're right, like Mad Max people. Is anyone happy in this world? Is this is this a really sad place? Are people just like okay with having superhuman powers and being emotionless? Oh, I think so. The outlaws, for example, have lots of fun in their they hometown. <laughs> yes, uh, because they want to. They rob others and uh, they um, yeah um, craft their own stuff with a mean. Uh, um, yeah, weapons, for, mm -hmm. for example, but uh, they also have um, yeah, um, nice bars, for example, and uh, some, kind, some um, kind of uh, drugs, we call them stims, that, they, that push their um, abilities, and uh, yeah, they can have fun. <laughs> Good. Uh, what is the main quest of the game? What is the main story? What is it about? What it means to be human, yeah. Okay. Oh, because b because it's not only the uh, good and evil stuff, yeah. As um, we uh, in, in the past did, yeah, right. the same, yeah. It's more like, uh, are you a rational machine guy or are you human? 
human, human cascade. You have right. emotions, yeah. And when you own, only uh, think about rational uh, decisions, yeah, it doesn't matter uh, if someone dies uh, uh, because that or, or something else, yeah, or you are uh, a really evil guy, or or you are, have empathy or something like. That. That's more the uh, human uh, uh, part of the game, yeah. And so it's very interesting to see how uh, the players uh, decide their their way through this game. Yeah, we have multiple endings here. Yeah, every main character has his own opinion about what you do yeah and in the end even when you uh, end the game after the credits yeah we have an end game yeah and you can go to every main uh, character you uh, met in this game yeah and ask him about his opinion about what you did and what next uh, that oh, your role in, in the world and stuff like that yeah there's a lot of storytelling yes, yes. Thing every single time you play the game that's that's super cool yeah um wanted to ask about any other features that the game has that, that's something that is unique or maybe something that we're very proud of the game? Yes, many things. So it's a really, really huge game. It's um, about 1.5 times bigger than Gothic 3, for example. And that was and a big one. Yes, it was a big yeah, one. Big. There are many different countries and climate zones in the continent. You can explore everything, every cellar, every country without any loading zone at all. And you can uh, explore it with a jetpack. Oh. Yeah, so it's uh, we call it vertical exploration. If you see a point, you can reach it. And this is uh, very interesting and makes a lot of fun. Another yeah. uh, special feature in, uh, uh, we have is we call it simulated game world. There are games uh, where there are hubs where you only can talk to somebody and not fight. Mm -hmm. And there are hubs in those games uh, where you only can fight but not talk. In our game is one one big game world. Yeah, that means you go into a city and when you commit crimes or something like that, yeah, they remind that and they call, um, they report it to their leader. Yeah, we call him the Punisher. Yeah, and so <laughs> and so he uh, um, uh, he says, you're, okay, you have to pay for your crimes here, and, uh, um, or or else, and or else means that uh, you uh, are forbid to trade. Yeah, it goes so far um, in steps. Yeah, uh, that uh, they send a headhunter after you and stuff like that. It's a very free world. Yeah, you can uh, every NPC in the world could be the first one you meet there, and yeah, you can choose your own way. Um, though we um, uh, tell a story in uh, four chapters. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, it's all embedded in this main uh, story. Yeah, uh, many many uh, 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 um, um, uh, dialogues you can have there. We have. Uh, almost uh, 300,000 uh, um, uh, spoken words in there. Wow. And so, yeah, that's, that's a very, very, that's very, very really huge, impressive. huge game. Yeah. It's really impressive. It will take a lot of time to complete that. Uh, one last question. I actually heard, Bjorn, that you're you actually did like the soundtrack for the yes, game? Yes, I did. Yeah. That was right. the first time. I make uh, music uh, for 25 years now, wow. but, but only for myself. Yeah? <laughs> and that, it, it was the time uh, uh, to say, okay, this time I will make the uh, soundtrack. Yeah. That is awesome. Can't yeah. wait to hear that, actually. The Tavar Desert. Hail in the south. We've built our town out of junk and sweat under the scorching heat of the desert sun. With us, the outlaws. The only one who counts is yourself. Everyone takes what they want. Our raids are as legendary as our nighttime shenanigans. Anyone who can't look after themselves here is either too weak or dead. But there are still rules in a world where death is lurking around every corner. The law of the stronger. Your only friends are your guns, a handful of grenades, and a good ambush. Up to now, we've used our heavy weaponry to sweep aside anyone who comes in our path. We bow to no one. No enemy and no god. Do you want freedom? The heavy rush of success? Is your fist your magical power? Then join our game. The Outlaws.